Hello everyone, Brick Build Brick Films here. Today I'm going to be reviewing my uh, top favorite Lego minifigures that I own. It's been a super long time since I've actually made an upload, and so I figured this would be just a nice filler video until I finally get enough motivation to finish the Vader film, which I've been procrastinating really hard on. The first minifigure we have here is my old Revenge of the Sith Obi-Wan Kenobi figure from 2005. This figure alone comes in one of the Starfighter sets from 2005, um, the Starfighter Hyperspace Ring set that comes with Kit Fisto as an extra figurine. And I was a huge Obi-Wan Kenobi fan for the longest time. And it's a really great addition to my collection. I really, really like it as a minifigure. And then, of course, you can't have Obi-Wan Kenobi without Anakin Skywalker. This is, uh, again, one of the Revenge of the Sith sets. This one appeared in, like, a variety of Lego sets from the 2005 wave. So, it may be from Ultimate Space Battle or one of the other sets it appeared in. Maybe the... Anakin Starfighter set from 2005 as well. Um, I really like this figurine if it would focus. My okay, if I can get back to what I was talking about a second ago. Um, I really like this figurine. This is one of the ones I bought shortly after buying the Obi-Wan figurine I just talked about. And all in all, it's like it's a really nice Lego figure. And it's nice to have the collect in the collection. You can see where damage marks have been on the hair and face print and stuff. Shows that it's aged a little, but it's still a really nice conditioned figurine to have. At number three, I'd have to put my Imperial Snow Trooper. I really personally like this figurine. It's the only one of its kind that I have. It's one of the older uh, models for it. It's not like the newer ones. But that's what only makes it more special. It's an older minifigure, still in good condition. It's really nice to have in your Lego collection. Need you make a cameo in a stop motion or something like that. It's just really nice to have that just to, you know, admire the fact that <laughs> a lot of these figurines are as old, if not older, than me. So it's just really cool to have these. And here at number four, we have an AT-AT um, pilot, or some sort of Imperial pilot. Um, I got this not too long ago from a friend when trading some minifigures, but um, it I can't tell when ex what exact Lego set it's from. It has similarities between um, the pilot of the eight old AT-ST walker uh, set, I think... I don't know if it was a individual set or if it came with um, the old Endor battle set. And then also similarities with the motorized AT-AT -AT from 2005. You can tell this figure is really old. Some of the printing starting to chip off its head here where the glasses are. But it's still a pretty nice, sort of simple figure. But it's still pretty cool to have in your collection. You can see damage marks on the side. But... It's still in somewhat good condition, and it's just pretty cool to know that you have in your collection because these are really old minifigures, mostly. And personally, a close tie for me, I'd have to put this um, Rebel Trooper in at number 5. Really close tie with number 4. I really like this figurine a lot. Um, it's the only one of the collection I have, but I keep it... Whoops. I keep it in um, display case most of the time just because I don't want a figure like this being damaged. I know that this is, I think this figure may be from like 2007, 2008 based on what I know. But it's really, again, super simply um, printed. But it's really just the history of these figurines because they start out so simple. But really, I like these kinds of figures a lot better than the modern figures. Just simple detail enough to give you that feeling of, like, characteristic characteristics in the minifigs. And that's really all you need. And that's another great example of what makes this minifigure so great. 
and I know that many people would probably agree with that. And then at number six, I have my custom Star Wars Battlefront Shock Trooper. I made the uh, gun assembled out of parts with a lightsaber hilt, um, a sniper blaster, and a black minifigure hand. And then I put a chain piece going from a little wrench, I guess, I, I guess I'll call that a wrench piece, um, going over to a backpack piece strapped by a little collar thing on its neck, and it makes this little jump pack thing, or power backpack, I guess. I like the minifigure prob- whoops. I like the minifigure probably more than, uh, the gun, but it does add some character to it. That I really liked. I made this for an old brick film I had on my old YouTube channel. And um, <laughs> it was a really fun part of making the film. Just designing this custom minifigure. So, yeah. Coming in at number 7, we have um, my Jason Voorhees Lego minifig. Um, it's not exactly Lego branding. You guys would know that, but... Um, still in the Lego style, and I really like the way the creators of this minifig printed it. Um, the, the only thing I disliked was that it came with a katana instead of a machete, but, like, you know, it doesn't have to stay too much attention to details and, um, stay too... It doesn't have to pay too much attention to the detail. I just liked how much they put into this minifigure and how mostly accurate it is, but... All in all, I really like this minifig, even though it's not exactly Lego, it's still a really cool thing to have in my collection. Plus, it did <laughs> get me a good start on YouTube, so I mean, hey. Our second to last minifigure I have on this list is the um, Lego minifigure series replica of the first ever Lego figure made, this police officer. It's kind of hard to explain what makes me like this one so much. Probably just because of the history in Lego. Lego's been a huge part of my life. And just seeing this thing, it sort of just resembles practically the father of the Lego minifigure. And to think that this little guy started off billions of Lego minifigs being made, just kind of, it's kind of awesome to think about. And to have... My own little personal replica of this guy being so simple, but then creating much more after himself. Uh, it's just, it's just really cool. And then we've got a shark. <laughs> um, this is one of the original Lego sharks from the old, um, undersea exploration wave of Lego sets. This one actually was passed down from my brother because before I was born he had the older Lego sets and these are sort of the remaining pieces of what he had including this shark and I think another one I have somewhere stored away but it's really cool because this thing is older than me. <laughs> this tiny little piece of plastic and you know it's pretty cool that I have that in my grasp and I hope to soon do maybe a brick film with it to include it in the channel because it really is special being different than all the minifigures not exactly a minifigure but it is special to me anyways that was it for this video i hope you all enjoyed how i ranked these minifigures if you disagree and you would have a different order for it please let me know down in the comments i'd like to see what you guys think Hopefully I can get out the Vader film to you guys soon. I'm trying to work on it, but schoolwork n near end of the school year is just going to get a lot easier once summer break hits. And hopefully I'll be able to release a lot more films to you guys. But thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for more content. And I will see you guys next time.